This is going to be a quick review on a pair of Super Vaders. This is the Black Tough and Red Distress Leather release. This came out in one, 2009, I think. It's a very old pair. They're dead stock. And I ordered these off of eBay for around 30 bucks. So it was quite a steal on what condition they were in. And since they're a dead stock and rare now. So here's a little Super Chrome. This came in a replacement box, though it's a still a Super box. And it's actually a Vader box too. So it's a Vader red carpet tub in US9. This person paid uh, $110 for their uh, red distress, or uh, red carpets. So here's the first pair. Here's the second pair. They didn't come with any extra laces or tags since they were old shoes and they came in a replacement box. So here's the shoe, comes in this red leather, this black mesh material, and then here's some wax laces. There's some creasing on the tongue, but it adds to the character of the leather. A white vulcanized midsole, double stitching on the toe box, but there are no perforations. We still have that wax lace, and then come around, still that red leather, the mesh, then we come over to a little darker piece of leather. Then here is the one of the more famous parts of the shoe, the Vader or Super logo. It comes in a black with red accents. Then we come around, hints of the mesh again. Then we have the solar red type color with the Super logo or Super name on it. Then we have that red dark leather. Comes around in a lighter leather. And comes with that little reminiscent Vader part and the black mesh. So one of the favorite part of my shoe is on the tongue. The tongue starts out with this mesh as we see here and over there. Then it comes to the super sliding tab. The new Vaders have this new square logo on the top, reminiscent of the sky top mids, or not sky top mids, the TK Society mids. And they're like that. But I like the sliding tab better because it adds character. Because you can wear it at the top, at the bottom, or in the middle, wherever you want. But I usually wear it at the bottom. It just adds more character to the shoe. But yeah, here's the other pair. Oh, and it has a white midsole, as you can see, with two uh, black stripes. Then we have a red bottom of the sole with a black crown. And the main thing that was the price factor for this and the fact that that made me kind of not like it is the heel drag. As you can see here, this one has worse heel drag, but the super sign is still intact, so they're pretty good. I'm just keeping these as more of a collector's item, but I will rock them here and there. But yes, this was a quick review on the Supra Vader Red Leather Distressed and Black Tough. Um, if you have any questions, post them down below. And I'll be having two more reviews on a pair of shoes later.